Okay, so today I'm going to look at titration calculations, and in one particular question, we're going to look at the titration between uh, an unknown concentration of hydrochloric acid and a known concentration, known volume of sodium hydroxide. So the first thing I'm going to look at is my actual equation, and it shows me in the equation that I'm going to be reacting hydrochloric acid with some sodium hydroxide. So to work out the equation, I'm just going to write down HCl reacts with sodium hydroxide, NaOH, to form NaCl as a salt and some water as the byproduct. Okay, so there's my equation written down. That's the first thing I was looking at. The second thing I want to look at now is the information given to me. And the information I'm always interested in is in the concentration of any of my reactants and also the volume. So the HCl, I, don't, I need to work this out. It's an unknown. Uh, it's clearly written here in the question. It's an unknown concentration. But the volume is given to me. I'm using 25 centimeters cubed. So I can write that down next to the HCl. So 25.0 centimeters cubed. And I look at the sodium hydroxide. And I know that I've got 20, uh, sorry, 0.8 moles per decimeter cubed solution of sodium hydroxide. And I also know that I'm using a 22.40 centimeters cubed solution of it. Okay. So with those two things in hand, I can now work out the number of moles of sodium hydroxide that I have present. Um, so the number of moles of sodium hydroxide is given to me by the calculation concentration times volume divided by 1,000, which is going to be 0 0.8 times by 22.40 divided by 1,000. Um, remember, I'm dividing by 1,000 because I have to convert into decimeters cubed. So I've done that on the calculator, and I end up with the value of 0 0.01792. And the value, again, because it's a, it's a number of moles, it's going to just be given to me in the unit moles. Okay, so I now know that I've got 0 0.01792 moles of um, sodium hydroxide. It's a one-to-one -one ratio with my HCl. So HCl to sodium hydroxide is a one-to-one. -one. Therefore, the number of moles of HCl... Uh, that I'm going to have is also going to be equal to 0 0.01792 moles. So I've got, because it's a titration, I've got a one-to-one -one ratio. Okay, when At the end point, um, I will have no more um, sodium hydroxide. We'll be all added in to cancel out the HCl. Okay, so finally, I'm going to work out my unknown, uh, which is the, uh, the concentration of my HCl. So the concentration of HCl can be worked up by rearranging the formula. So the concentration of HCl is given to me by the formula um, 1,000 times by the number of moles of the HCl, which I just worked out, um, divided by the volume of HCl that I've got present. Okay, so in my um, example here now, I'm going to use the, the numbers 1,000 uh, times by the, the, uh, the number of uh, moles I just worked out, 0 0.01792, and I'm going to divide that by the volume of HCl, which is 25. Uh, if I then put that into the calculator, as I'll show you now, so it goes into the calculator, uh, 0 0.01792 times by 1,000 divided by 25, and I get 0 0.7168, okay, or 0 0.717 to three significant figures. Now, remember, the unit here is moles per decimeter cubed. 